Hey guys! Whoa, hey! Oh, okay, I thought the head was gonna like turn again. Hey guys! My name is Mason, and welcome back to Let's Play Fable. Oh, I'm picking one. Oh, oh, fucking gross! Welcome back to Let's Play Fable 2 episode. Trays! Alright, so how you doing, dog? You'll sleep all depressed because you can't go to Castle. Castle Fairfax? Isn't it called Castle Fairfax? I'm pretty sure it's called Castle Fairfax. How you doing, guards? Yeah, it's called Fa Ca Ca I was about to say, Fossil Carefax! <laughs> yeah, I was literally just about to say that. What's going on here? Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young master. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look at this castle every day and think how nice it is. Okay, so actually I have control now. See you later, Jeeves. But inside, well, I mean, see you later, guard, even. Or whatever the fuck. I don't even fucking know. How you doing? It is quite this wonderful, is Jeeves. Isn't it? You are wonderful. Oh, who's this? What are you carrying there? Ah, oh, hello, Master. You gonna say anything? <laughs> Man of few words. Yeah, you didn't even say anything. Just, <laughs> just walked straight past like I didn't even go fuck. In the north wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since. Look at these huge steps. She's like, whoa, whoa, Oh. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Sounds like a tragedy. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. No, oh, I can imagine. So, where does he eat? Oh, he eats uh, underground. Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. Oh, he actually does. He's in there working all well, hours. He eats in a secluded area, anyway. What does he research? Um. And history mostly. History Lord mostly. Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts. Jeeves, if only you had a clue. Relating to the old kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the old kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about it. It's weird because I turn up the uh, the voice, but depending if it's like a cutscene like this where we're walking we're and here. shit. Well, that's wonderful. The audio will be kind of ambient. Lucian. If I'm standing still at any point, as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. I know it just seems really fucked up. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Like if I'm facing right at them, sometimes they'll be really mute, and then if I'm like really far away, they'll just be like, "Oh, hello, Lord Lucian. Lord Lucian. The children are here!" Children like shouting, here. and I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" Audio, balance your. Whoa, sis! Apparently, she just she just has no. Consideration for doors or their use whatsoever. She just glitched straight fucking through. Can you walk? Can, no, you can't even walk. Was she like fucking programmed to do that? Like, what is your game? I've never seen that before. Children, it's come to my ha! attention. Children! Have some sort of magic box. Uh, yes, yes. well, you had wrong, bud. It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it. Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle like this one. Oh, God. Perhaps that could be arranged. It has been arranged, because we are here! I'm working to rebuild... Oh, what's with the hesitation? I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. He's not talking, he's not talking about it or describing it like it's actually wonderful. Let us find out if you possess them. It's like he's, you know... Would you kindly stand Would you up? kindly? <gasps> um... Um, indeed. I promise it won't hurt you. Why would that be the first thing you say? Oh, I'm so fucking... Oh, I don't want to... Sis, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's all trap. It's all trap. It's all trap. It's all trap. It's glitching out now. Glitching out. Breakdown. What's that? What is that? Nothing to worry about. Look at the way I'm looking at it. <gasps> yeah, what is that? That is, in my opinion, something to worry about. Go on. Stand in the side. Go on. Just... Go on, shuffle in there, boy. It's all right, little sparrow. Little sparrow. Don't you guys peer afraid. pressure me into something that I do not want to do. It doesn't hurt. Because I know that this is going to have consequences. My power level. It's over 9,000. Your blood. <gasps> you are heroes. We are heroes. DBC warriors. Stories. 
Oh, is he gonna try and... Oh! <laughs> Better luck next time, Lucian. Or should I say... Wait. Bull the shit, Shin! <laughs> oh, what happened? What is that light? Negative reaction. You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. Okay, so we're heroes. One of you is the fourth. One of us is a hero. What's happening? Oh, God! See, we're like, why is he really quiet now? Stand in my way. No. Yeah, let's not do this. No, no, no. Let me take the bullet. Let me take the bullet. That's it. She's just. I can't allow you to live either. No, Lucian, let's talk this out like fucking buddies. I'm sorry. No, no. We can hang out and eat pizza! Oh! Fuck that up. We have up the, uh, the dialogue audio and the music audio, but lower the effects because I noticed in the last episode that the gun was super loud, so hopefully that is better. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. Oh, Teresa the, the Badass. Survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, Life slowly returned to his small brother. Woohoo! The boy lives! The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over his strange the bed. Godmother. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Hell yeah. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the Ten air with the sound years? of and laughter. With time, the boy's pain... Oh god, this is too much to handle. Ten whole fucking away. years passed with an instant. change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Damn some deep shit. BAM! Ten years have passed. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Oh, how you doing? Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. That day has come indeed, Teresa! Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. Indeed he won't. There's a chest near your camp. Thank you, Teresa. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. I will certainly do so. Come on, boy. I need to come up with a name for this dog. So, for any of you that, because I've obviously started, uh, as you can clearly see, for any of you that are actually currently watching, I've started off my channel with uh, nothing but Fable 2, because it's my favorite game currently, and I just really want to get back into it and just dish, uh, I guess, a lot of content for a game out to start off with, but I do not want to record more than one game to start off with, so I'm just going to try and record, like, I guess, mass record Fable 2, so I can just, I guess, schedule it as and whatnot, and just be prepared. And the reason I didn't talk throughout most of this episode, because if you noticed, it was very cutscene heavy. And so I didn't really want to, you know, fuck around with the plot or not and like screw with your heads and make you miss something important, even though it wasn't all that much important. It's just basically explaining the backstory for our hero, the protagonist of the game, which I still don't know uh, the name of. I'm pretty sure everyone that's had to refer to me like as with the title, like all I've been called is Sparrow or Little, Little Sparrow. But like, is my name Sparrow? Who knows? Well, kids just ran from my freaking leg. Slow down! No, oh, don't come at me! What? I'm, okay, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go to Caravan and pick up whatever the hell Teresa left me. Equipment to help me on my journey, apparently. Let's go, let's go and check the chest. But yeah, I need to come up with a name for my dog. Like, uh, that's what I was gonna ask. If any of you come across this and you're new to my channel and subscribe and liking the videos and liking the content, then be sure to leave a comment suggesting a name for my dog so I can refer to it and just whatnot. Not sure if you can name the dog in-game, but I'm just gonna refer to it with the name that anyone, you know, suggests, because I need to come up with a name for this, uh, you know, otherwise come up, come up with one myself. Who knows? Oh, crossbow. Didn't know we got a crossbow this early on. I thought we were starting off with a longbow or some shit. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's all good. It's made to dig up some juicy treats. The dog butts. Because the dog, that's the whole point of the dog. Like, uh, he helps you find various items. I'm pretty sure the dog helps attack on some level, and you can, like, uh, find various books 
books. You can find various books, books and whatnot, uh, to upgrade your dog's stats, like uh, hunting abilities, attack, or whatever, or like durability, endurability, and whatnot. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool tip for you guys. So, yeah, we got the equipment and we're meeting Teresa. But I'm at like the 12 minute marks. So I'm pretty sure after Teresa says her jiggle jangle and speaks her little, I don't know, tale of woe, then I guess I'm gonna end off the episode. The birth of a hero. God, I'm actually really satisfied with the fact that I start for the crossbow. Like, I'm not. Maybe this is the fact that it's game of the year. Maybe that's why. Or, I don't know. Maybe it's the same in the normal version. I just don't know. The kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. The hero's artifact. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Like the spiritual stone from Wind Waker. Now, look down towards the lake. I will do. When you come out again, you will be stronger. Much stronger. Holy shit, that is enticing and appealing and everything positive of the sorts. God, this music is so fucking beautiful. I just love every single factor about this game currently. Hence why I'm mass recording it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Highly helps me out and I highly appreciate it. Show me that love and support. And subscribe for more of the series. Other than that, guys, I will see you on episode 4 of Let's Play Fable 2. I'm out. What is going on with the dog? <laughs> what are you doing, Baxter? I think I'm just going to call him Baxter. Like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, you guys can leave suggestions, but if it's not better than Baxter, then Baxter it is. Good Baxter. Keep on glitching on. <laughs>